As all you football fans out there know, Houston plays New England later today here on CBS. If you're not a football fan, we don't want you to feel left out. So we offer you the following instructional timeout from Bill Geist. Holiday down the sideline. It's playoff time. Touchdown, Denver. And everybody's in football. Boomer was talking about how aggressive the play calling was by Baltimore in the first half. Both quarterbacks are using 31 personnel. I used to like 31 personnel because you could get good spacing vertically going against two safeties, especially when they were playing double single. And what did you hate to see as a tight end? Uh, cover six kick. Quarter, quarter field safety on one side, half the field safety on the other side, or, or me and the quarterback reading as the same thing. I had cloud support on the weak side, which I really like. I grew up on the weak side guy. Everybody's and talking football except those who don't know the language. Bill, what uh, ditto, just what they were saying. Baltimore, third and two. A lot of well-educated Americans are absolute dunces when it comes to the subject of football. My uh, lack of knowledge of the game is a little bit embarrassing. By this point in my life, I really should know football, and uh, I have to admit, I still don't. <laughs> I'm here to learn something about football because I don't know anything. This Bostonian, by way of Europe, has seen one game and described the act. Spurts of action happening really quickly, and then everyone was piling up on top of each other, and then it stopped. And then they were kind of resorting themselves, and then it happened again. Hello. For such football illiterates, a cram session in Football 101 was held this past week in Boston. And none too soon. Its team, the Patriots, led by heartthrob quarterback Tom Brady, has a big playoff game today. Not knowing football, leaves you on the sidelines. What is the object of football? Touchdown? Yes. Class instructor Gene DeFilippo, former athletic director at Boston College, had his work cut out for him. What's the most basic question? Who's the guy that lines up behind the guy that snaps it or centers it? <laughs> I said, that's our quarterback. <laughs> he began with the basics. This is our goal line. We have four downs, right? So a touchdown is six, a kicked uh, extra point is one, and we can either run it or pass it for two. Questions on that? There was already some confusion. We have four downs. Then. We have four downs. Then when you accomplish that, it's called a first down. Correct. Before the ball is snapped, why does the wide receiver do this like z Does one team only have offensive players on the field while the other team only has defensive players? The one football fact they all knew. And you know who Tom Brady's married to? Uh, Giselle Bundchen, yes. Giselle, um, Giselle Bundchen. <laughs> you know, a supermodel. The class was held, oddly enough, at the British Consulate, where Susie Kitchens is the Consul General. Are you a football fan? Um, yes, but perhaps not your kind of football. <laughs> I oh. like um, English football. You like real football? as it is everywhere else in the world other than America. I think she may have been talking about soccer. I don't know really what's so difficult about football. We see him either throw the ball or run with the ball. <laughs> Basically two things, right? Yes, but in so many, many ways. This play is called Jack's Right 26 Boot G3927 and looks something like this. We call him a tight end. What would he be? What kind of an end? became more complex as class moved along. This cornerback, all right, he's going to take this flat area. He's, he's going to take what we call the hook. He's, he's right in the middle of the field, hook, and he's got the out there, five underneath, too deep. It's not very hard, OK? <laughs> Why had these students come to learn football on a winter's night? I want to be able to uh, attend a game my dad or my boyfriend and not ask too many stupid questions. Yeah. It would make my Sunday afternoons with my husband quite a bit more enjoyable. It's a big Monday morning kind of chit chat around the water cooler for guys. So if you don't really understand football, uh, then it's really hard to participate in the conversation. It's going to be an easy win for the Patriots. After class, some students met at a nearby sports bar to experience the football fans diet, beer, wings and nachos. What do you learn tonight? Well, I learned about different formations, the I formation, the, the nickel back, dime back. You can't talk with most people if you don't know football. 
It's true. Kind of like politics. You know, you, you've got to know at least something about it and be able to defend your position. For me, the key point is I now know how little I still know. The fire zones used to drive me crazy, especially with the TTs and the... But the hybrid like, defense coach? A lesson some of us have to learn the hard. It's, it's to protect it, though. If you can protect the fire zone, there's a lot of holes.